Hey guys, gals, and Legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Relax with RimWorld. Going for a different camera setup on this one, just so we can see a little bit more of what's going on down on this side here. Um, it's getting colder outside, and I'm not surprised. We are going to be spending a lot of time mining out this area, and some of you will be like, holy crap, what the hell is that? Now, not all of these areas are activated for mining right now. Um, actually, there's some here that I probably want to cut off even more, so we're going to go ahead and just cancel this lot here. There we go, so we don't start doing that just yet. And I actually know there's a reason I did that, and that's because that's going to become a room. Ah, okay. I am, I, I am, and I shall remember. Yes. Okay, but as you can see, there is this very large area here which is needing to be mined out. So Mr. Seabass, you are going to be very, very busy doing that, while everyone else is trying to uh, kind of keep things going at the moment. Spectre, Currently, you are trying to help us out chopping down some trees, which is fantastic. We are going to need more wood once we get inside here. Um, this uh, They're not going to be bedrooms for long. This is a temporary setup for the bedrooms uh, currently. This originally was going to be part of a bedroom setup, but now, well, now it's becoming something else. It's going to be a great big grand hall. We are going to work our way to that, however. We're going to start off, first of all, trying to get these basic bedrooms up and running. And then from there, we're going to start to kind of expand our operation a little bit. It's going to be pretty, well, it's it's not the nicest uh, environment in here at the moment. We're actually going to speed things up at the moment. Um, Mr. Seabass, unfortunately, is going to be a little upset working in here. It's certainly not the nicest area that he's in. Uh, I just want to make sure that I'm not actually deconstructing this bed right now. No, no. All right, Elliot is just deconstructing the floor, which is fine because I am changing things around in there a little bit. You're going to be upset about the bathroom, no doubt, no doubt. But uh, if you just keep chipping away in there, Mr. Seabass, I'm sure we are going to have this place mined out in no time at all. Because um, Mr. Seabass is actually pretty good at mining and is going to be getting even better as time goes on. Um, Spectra has been doing awesome at getting all of this chopped down. So we're going to be able to make a lot of things out of wood on the inside. And hey, that is the area that was behind. Okay, so it's not some big frightening thing. But a new area has been revealed. So thanks for uh, uncovering that for me. And you're going to go have a bowel movement. Yeah, it's a little bit of a walk at this stage. But uh, yeah, we do what we got to do. And it's still temporary to say the least a lot of this is a lot of this is temporary um obviously having all these uh bricks in here <laughs> isn't ideal for elliot sleeping in his room uh let's see you are actually going to be starting to cut down some pines as well which makes me think that most of it's been done so we're probably going to be doing the last of this harvesting uh i'm not sure how much more days of growing we have hmm not sure uh, but it looks like Mr. Seabass is going to be able to get into... Oh, I actually don't want you mining out this area just yet, so... I screwed that one up a little bit. That's okay, though. Uh, this is a corridor that's going to lead down to these little... These little diamond sections, and those diamond sections are going to be our bathrooms. But what I'm kind of trying to focus on at the moment is getting this area here mined out. And, uh... Oh, well, the reason he got to that was because of the cavern opening. Okay, okay, that makes sense. But uh, these rooms here, um, there should be four of them at the moment on either side of this great big hall. Those are going to be our bedrooms. This is going to be our main hall. Further down through here, this is going to be our kitchen workstation area. This is going to be our freezer down here with kind of heat vents, which are going to be venting heat back into the hallways. Um, but I'm just, as you can see, I've got areas that have kind of, they've been cordoned off at the moment. Uh, and that's because I, yeah, I don't want us to be... Um, mining those out just yet we just need the basics right now and as far as basics go just getting the bedrooms up and running first of all is going to be what we need to do really because we've only got mr seabass who is doing that at the moment uh we do have thankfully some uh, herbal medicine that is getting harvested so i'm gonna have to make sure that we mark that for urgent hauling because we need that to get back there um, because I've also been told that infections are a lot more prevalent this time round. So something that we're going to have to be mindful of is that we could very easily get infections. Um, now, those of you who have been asking, I did mention at the start, but we are playing on Randy Random and we're playing on Intense. And just so to show you, we are playing Randy Random and it's on Intense. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to say the least. Randy can really screw you over at the very, very beginning. So 
Uh, we'll see. We'll see. He can also be kind, so who knows? Um, these walls that are here that I've got marked with white at the moment, we are actually going to be getting rid of those eventually because they aren't the nicest looking things. However, we need a lot of blocks to be able to do that. And I just want the basic outline of the rooms to be down first. So it looks like Mr. Seabass is going to go to sleep. Elliot's going to go to sleep in what is quite a horrific room. It looks like Spectre is going to be going to sleep as well. Okay, and we haven't had any other meals made today, but uh, not all of these meals here have human meat in, so uh, yeah. Oh, okay, it looks like some of those are separate, so that's that's good. And they should have just human meat in as well. Yeah. I, um, the thing is, I only want Elliot cooking those. I wouldn't want anyone else cooking those, so I've actually put them on hold for now. Yeah, we'll see how that works out. We will have to put a little bit more of a yeah preference to cooking um at the moment i've got mr seabass on it i'm probably gonna have to put elliot on it actually over him yeah so i think elliot might be doing that a little bit more yeah so he's gonna be making those meals unfortunately waking up spectra but that's uh that's how it is okay so we have missed out on that well it's like it's now and never essentially for this one and i think we are going to reject it um because while we could spend the silver to do that i think drawing any extra attention to ourselves right now is not what we want to do um this is going to be like a little bit of a diamond section eventually but uh we are going to be creating walls there just want to get rid of these ones here to start with unfortunately that does kind of crack open elliot's room that he was kind of in at this time but uh again won't be for forever i'm actually probably going to shift most of these things that are in here now oh great breakdown so we lost our power so Elliot should go and do that because construction is his priority. So he's probably going to try and... Yep, there we go. He's going to go fix that up. And I need to find somewhere where we can reinstall this bed. So I think... I think we might just reinstall... We're probably going to install it down here. So I just need that last little bit to be mined out by Mr. Seabass there. And then we'll be good. Yeah. Actually, we could go kind of like that. Hmm, how do I want to do that? I think we'll go like that. And then we'll get this and we will reinstall this and which way are you facing that way okay like so all right and because we've got this at the moment we'll probably just reinstall it in the corner there we'll get your little desk if we can reinstall that same with your chair reinstall and we'll just put it there all right uh, now, all of these blocks that I've got down here at the moment, we can actually use those to kind of decorate this room in some kind of fashion. Now, because a lot of the stuff is down already, we're not going to see any kind of detailing on the outside. So I'm probably going to end up just doing marble across the whole thing. But as for what the floor design is going to be, I'm not so sure just yet. Marble flagstone. I don't know if marble flagstone, marble tile. It's four blocks, so it's similar again. Let's go into more floors and see what we've got for those. We could go for a hex design for the bedrooms. It requires less. Random seems to take more. Don't know what I want to do. I think we might go for the. I think we might go for the random, and uh, we'll just have some nice slabs at the centers of uh, each of these doors. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and build a copy right there. So that's going to give Elliot something to do at the very least because he is construction orientated. I think Spectra is still going to be out harvesting things just like that so we're going to mark that for hauling urgently do we have any others around we have quite a few okay so we want all of those to be hauled um i probably don't want elliot to be working on that though so i'll just see it looks like he is going to try and haul those i'd rather he stays working here for now so what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the haul plus and we're actually just going to knock him off that for now so we're just going to leave spectra on the hauling plus and so that means that Elliot will be able to work on some of the floor in here and actually get this bedroom up and running, which is what we need. We need to have these bedrooms on the go. Mr. Seabass, fantastic job. It looks like we're going to be getting our way down to another bedroom. I'm actually just going to cancel this bit of work here just so he finishes off this bedroom before he goes any further. So I think he's going to try and finish off that lot there. And then uh, we'll get down to this one. So we are getting there. I'm thinking it's still probably going to be another you know, a good two, three days before we're able to uh, have everything in here. Um, something else that we are going to need is power as well. I was wanting to kind of get rid of this now so that we could just run the power through the walls, but I think for a temporary solution before we start mixing things around, uh, we are going to just run them through the hallways. Because um, I guess we need to decide on what we're going to be using for our walls in the base. And looking at this, 
there is a big mix. I mean, we've we've got we're there, there. We've obviously got a lot of slate around here, but then we've also got a lot of marble. The slate is stronger than the marble, so it makes me think that maybe it might be worth us um, making the walls out of slate. Um, but yeah, we have a real mix. Uh, we've got 31 chunks there. We've got 30 chunks of marble, so it's about half and half right now. And I feel like we're mining down into the slate more at this time, so I think we're going to want to do that. What are you doing? Oh, you're still building. You're still you're still making the tiles. That's good. You're putting them down. That's good. We'll be interested to see how much you actually get done there. And Spectra, you're just hauling like a boss. Okay, we've actually got a decent amount there. That's good. We're going to get rid of that for now. But Spectra and Seabass, they are quite upset at the moment. Um, because these aren't the best conditions that we could have them in. So we might be looking at a break eventually, but uh, for the time being, we are okay. And it looks like we are all asleep. Well, almost all. Spectra is just hauling that last bit of herbal medicine back down. And I'm going to have a sip of coffee. Oh yeah, there we go. We're just going to... Oh great, we've got beavers. Okay. Alright, I did not see that pop up. Um, they are... Hmm, they could be a problem because they're going to decimate a lot of our wood. There is a lot of wood there for them to eat. Um, I would be, like, slightly concerned about them. <laughs> yeah, see, that would take, that's going to take up a lot of Elliot's time trying to take down all of them. But I don't see... We're going to get that hauled. Yeah, I don't see the other creatures here taking care of them. So, like, this, this, uh... Arctic wolf here. I don't see that um, going after them. Now, Venomine here, I'm thinking is just going to be able to uh, consume this human meat that's here. I'm going to allow Elliot to consume some of it as well, even though it is raw. We're going to call Venomine, I think, Venomine. I think we're going to call Ven for short. Yeah. Okay, Elliot is asleep as well. Everyone's asleep. Not feeling great. Ugly environment. And we're going to start losing things outside. Minus 13. <clears throat> it is most certainly cold. Uh, and those torches, while providing a bit of heat, aren't providing too much. And especially in here, because it's not actually sealed up at the moment. Uh, what I might do, just for now, is just build a slate wall. Because we're going to put one there eventually. And we do have some slate blocks. So that'll allow Elliot just to seal off this area. While it's still kind of uh, just a temporary holding. Alright. Just chowing down. I think he's going to have all of that meat, actually. Yeah. There's hair meat there, which uh, Venomin or Ven will be able to have, but uh, Ven seems to be actually pretty well fed at the moment. He's doing okay, all things considered. Yeah. This definitely isn't the safest style, what I'm doing now. I'm playing pretty damn risky, especially coming into here and going with such a big project so quickly. Uh, but Mr. Seabass is able to get through this relatively quick, so as long as Elliot can get this stuff down, I think we're going to be okay. Um, I'm obviously going to want all of these blocks hauled, so what I might start doing is just expanding the uh, stockpiles that we have here. Let's see, do I, I've got stockpiles there, right? Yeah, we do. Dumping stockpiles, so we want to just expand that out that way. And essentially the same thing with that as well. Yeah. So if I mark those for hauling, they are going to get hauled by Spectra, who at the moment is just relaxing socially. Yeah, we want to get all of these out here. So we're just going to go... Uh, we'll actually select it from inside here. Orders haul urgently, and we will haul all of these things. There we go, and there we go. Good. 45 items. So he's going to be very, very busy hauling today. Yeah, very busy. Having a bowel movement. Go on, do it. Okay, and let me guess, yeah, Mr. Seabass. You're doing so good, bud. You have almost got this room finished, uh, which means we can actually build a copy of this right there. Yeah. I mean, we could smooth stone in here, but that does take quite a long time. So, yeah, I don't think we'll be doing that. Not yet, at the very least. Um, do I want to build copies of these tables in here for now? I think we do. I think it will be healthy for us to have these, uh, tables. Just giving them somewhere to eat their own, you know, eat in their own space until we have the big hall kind of dug out, which is still a while off. Uh, I won't have us working on that for a good while. Okay, alright, we need to get some power down here as well. Ugh, I would like to be able to manage these break, uh, the mood breaks a little bit more, but right now... We don't really have the ability to do so. 
Okay. I'm probably just going to stick the torches for now as well for temperature before we get uh, the rest up and running. Because they do provide a little bit of warmth in here and I think we should be I think we should be looking good. So I think we're going to do the same kind of thing in there. Thank you for Elliot completing that door there. So we'll go ahead and I just want to copy said door. Any moment now. There we go. Alright. We will have some power going down there. And, well, we finished off that area there. <laughs> we sealed it up, not that we really needed to. And we are getting power down there. So let's go ahead and change this. This is now... You know what, let's make this Mr. Seabass's room. Just because I think he needs a good room. And uh, quite badly. Uh, and something else that I haven't had a look at in a while. And something that I am going to have to be kind of paying attention to and expanding as we're doing. Is expanding the cleaning area. So we're going to expand that in through here. Pretty much expands this whole area. We don't have to work with rooms specifically, but uh, that'll mean we'll get some cleaning done there. And I'm hoping that we might be able to get Spectra to help out with that. Yes, we will. Good. Okay, so I'm going to put cleaning on two, because uh, I would like to see that happen once we've got these things hauled out of here. Okay. All right. Oh, Mr. Seabass, you're doing a bit of cooking. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we don't have a huge amount of meals in there at the moment, but we've got some. We have some, and I'm probably going to have to steal Elliot to go and try and hunt some of those alpha beavers, depending on how bad they are. And we've got a lot of wood out here. It is going to start to deteriorate, so I'm going to have to try and watch out for that. Well, how far are you going for that, buddy? You're going quite the ways to, wow, just get a boar? Dead for four days. No, I'm going to forbid that. Sorry, dude. I like your commitment, but... Uh, I feel like there's probably something else you could be doing for us right now. Okay, so he he's actually stopped mining because I stopped. I told him not to go any further there. So I probably will allow him to start to move down there and work his way to the other rooms. So let's go into our orders and we shall allow mining. Do I want to allow that way first? Hmm. I mean, either either is fine, really. Yeah, we'll go this way first. Uh, this thing that I have planned up here is going to be uh, somewhere that we can kind of go up into and shoot out at enemies. That's the kind of idea that I have for it. We're going to have a number of doors in between here, so this will be the kind of area that we'll be able to kind of shoot out at the enemy from. That's that's the thinking, at the very least. Don't know exactly how that'll work out, but we'll see. Spectra, you've done a fantastic job at getting everything out of this place for now, so... A little bit better. I'm amazed that we haven't had any breaks yet, but I know I kind of have jinxed myself in saying that, so. Yes. We're lucky for now, at the very least. Okay, so we're going random marble again? Yes, I believe so. So we've got random marble right across there, and we will put a marble slab there as well. Marble for the flooring, slate for the walls. I think that'll be a good way to good way to do it. And so Mr. Seabass is chilling in there. Uh probably literally chilling. Yeah, it's zero degrees at the moment. Um we didn't manage to get the torch down, or did we? No, we didn't. Okay, so Elliot's still awake. I might actually just get him to prioritize working on that torch, just so that we actually have a little bit of warmth in there. And he is going to disturb Mr. Seabass, unfortunately, but I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get him a little bit of warmth in there. And so I'll just pay attention to that and see if it rises throughout the night. See how much he can get out of that. And Elliot, you're going to be calling this place home for now. Uh, very, very chilly home, however. Yeah, I'm going to have to have them in here as well. Uh, if not, the campfires. Uh, and the campfires require 20 wood. I'm not sure how long they last for, though. Whereas, I know the torch, torch lamps do last for a while. Oh, they cost 20 as well. I will just build campfires. Campfires it is. Campfire in here as well. We'll make that happen. Because we've got enough wood right now. We've got a lot of stuff chopped down. Let's check in on the beavers, see how they're doing. Okay, they've cleared out a decent area. And sure enough, the smoke leaf is starting to die off now. I'm not surprised about that. All of this should be fine outside. Nothing bad's going to happen to it. Spectra, are you cleaning? Oh no, there's still a little bit more hauling for him to do. But uh, he's doing a good job. He is doing a good job. I'm going to be focusing primarily on the inside of here for the next wee while. So I'm probably going to be missing out on... Uh, events and happenings around here these muffaloes are kind of asking <laughs> to be brought in uh we don't have a lot of food down at the moment so i am gonna have to do some hauling because some hauling some hunting 
because uh, we are starting to get low. All right, you got upset probably because you didn't eat with a table. The uh, butchered human like does seem to stick around for quite a while, so yeah, we might be not butchering people as much. However, they don't get negatives from us operating on them at the very least, so that's that's something because they are prisoners, and uh, well, they've done us wrong, so. Yeah, we're going to do them as well. Spectra, nice work. Only a little bit left. And then we're actually going to have the place clean. Or I hope so, at the very least. Three more. Good job, Seabass. Keep it up. Let's see, Elliot, what are you doing? Building torches. Thank you very much. Keep it up, bud. All right, Spectra, I think, is actually just having a rest right now. There are two more spaces, which is actually, funny enough, got to perfectly fit in those last two pieces, well, the last two chunks. So, damn good job. And the torch is in, fantastic. Uh, temperature is 10 degrees, which is uh, good. It's within acceptable regions with them. Um, yeah, feeling good, feeling good, feeling fine. Are we taking marble blocks from all the way over there? Oh, right, I see. The last ones that dropped down, okay. Well, we might not have enough marble blocks right now. Uh, we are going to have to look at getting some kind of production up and running soon. Uh, hopefully that will get moved as well. I'd like that. Uh, which means that we're probably going to have to build power along this way as well. So let's start running that. Just, you know, it's still temporary. That's That's been my uh, key phrase for this whole series, pretty much. It's just, it's just temporary. It's just temporary. Mr. Seabass, you're doing a fantastic job chipping away and now that we're actually in here i am going to be able to design our bathroom a little bit again with just the basic amenities right now but it should be a little bit better for them so we're going to go with a door there and a door there and i think we will actually go for a wooden floor in the bathroom chipping away all right good job sea bass good job Minor break risk. I well, I know everyone's at a break risk right now, and I'm not surprised. That, I'm I'm surprised that more of us aren't closer to breaking. I want to see if we can get this bathroom done. So close. Just a little bit more, my friend. We can do those two there, then I'll be able to get these extra doors in. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we can actually have a look at chucking down some floors. What do I want to do in here? I'm thinking maybe light wood. Lightwood would look nice and uh, relaxing for a uh, for a bathroom. And I would like to go for more marble slabs, but I don't know if we have the marble to do it, unfortunately. Okay, so if we jump in and have a look at hygiene, we can see obviously the stuff that we can make right now isn't super amazing. I don't know if we can actually move these ones. Yes, we can. So let's go ahead and reinstall the wooden wash bucket there just for now. And we'll go ahead and... Ah, we can only build a copy of it. Okay, let's see if I can zoom in and see which way this is going to go. There we go, like so. Alright, and that means that we can probably just deconstruct this one for the time being. Spectra, you're going to be cold, damn it. Those fireplaces didn't get built. Wow, you, no, mm, you're still kind of close. Alright, stop doing that right now. You need to come back and prioritize working on these campfires. Go grab some wood, get it done. Yeah, it's a long walk, isn't it? Long walk, and it's going to be a long night for him, unfortunately. But um, Elliot is the one that's in the best mood out of everyone right now, so I'm going to kind of try and utilize that as much as possible. Work on the campfire. Okay, you can do whatever you want now, buddy. Let's check on Mr. Seabass. How is he doing in his new room there? Looks like he's doing okay. Low expectations, awful bedroom. It's awful for now. That'll change. It'll change. He'll, he'll feel better about the scenario eventually. Uh, we don't need that torch anymore, so let's just go ahead and deconstruct that one. This should get moved tomorrow, I hope. Wow, I'm surprised that so many of them have actually survived out there. Alright, let's check on those damn beavers. Oh. Where'd they go? Oh, they, they're still here. They've just kind of spread out. Wow, how far have they spread out? Oh, they're all down here. Oh, you're working your way down here, you bastards. Yeah, and I, I realized I said damn beavers. Yeah. <laughs> it actually was unintentional, surprisingly enough. Okay. Come on. 
I think for the most part in the halls, we're probably going to do wood floors, maybe? Just because we don't have a lot of blocks right now. We will be able to make more blocks, but uh, yeah, for now, we're pretty much going to be focusing on cooking. And I believe that today... Oh, were you just helping out with the mining spectra? I think you were. Let's see, what is your mining on spectra? Two. Your cleaning is also on two. I guess it's kind of good that he's helping out with that, but I think for now I would rather he prioritizes just cleaning this area here. Because it's going to make it a little bit better for us. And obviously, as you can see, there is a lot to clean. I think I would be more on board with going for the smooth rock approach if it was all one tone. But because we've got marble and slate in this area, I'm wanting to change it up. Um, I think we might be able to just build a campfire here and we'll have that heat transfer pretty well. I mean, it won't be amazing, but it'll be a little bit better. I mean, these rooms are going to be pretty damn toasty. How often do I have to refuel you? Ugh, quite often. Yeah. Well, we won't be in there for too much longer. Okay, I'll, I'll let Elliot grab this last bit. That is literally all the blocks that we have left there, so... Hurry up, go and get them. Spectra, thank you very much. Making the place look a hell of a lot better for us. And hopefully now this bedroom shouldn't be so bad for Mr. Seabass. That's the hope. We'll see. Thank you, Spectra. Once this is actually uh, all clean, I probably will get Spectra back on to, you know, help out with mining. We'll see. Uh, the beavers are here. Let's go put them on hunt and see who we actually have marked as our hunter. Elliot is marked as the hunter. So he probably will probably will go and do some if he has no other construction he can do. And it looks like yeah, there is a bit more construction we can do. Come on, you can do it. What a building. Door? Oh, the floor. Okay, I'm getting the floor down first. Interesting. Okay. I won't complain, it's getting done, so I suppose that's good at least. More wood for the floor. Let's get it inside. Um, yeah, I'm wondering whether or not I should be concerned about the beavers. I guess I could actually just force target them now with this. So let's go ahead and reconnect our turret. Okay, set force target, beaver. Yeah, it's not an amazing shot, so... <laughs> Let's go for that one, it's a little closer. Now that I've said that, it's not. Oh, we hit it. Okay, and what is it? Set force target is in, apparently. Hmm. Yeah. We'll see. Spectra, you're deconstructing that? No, you were just using it, it would seem. Major break risk. Yeah. I know. Um, I'm thinking we might actually need Elliot to help out here. There are just so many here, and they're just going to tear through all of our wood very, very quickly. So let's go here, draft the sucker, and get to work. All right, you just start firing at the closest ones to you. You're doing work, turret. You're doing work. Okay, that one's in the deep water, so surely that should be relatively easy for us to hit. Okay, nice. Okay, good hits. Psychic Soothe. Randy, thank you. I'll take it. And this will also be some meat for the uh, freezer, so thanks, Beavis. Okay, let's see. Go ahead and set for forced target as that one there nice good work turret we should be able to hit most of these and we'll get the one that's asleep i said we'll get the one that's asleep Elliot. come on it's asleep you got this <laughs> any moment now and we'll go ahead and set this as a target it's a little closer should be able to get this it seems like when they're moving, they're a much easier target to hit, surprisingly enough. There we go. Just like that. 
And how about you go for the one that's just right in front of you? There we go. And then after this, no more wood stealing. What about the one behind you? I'll let you go for those ones. I'm surprised none of them have gone mad yet, because it's something that can happen, and if they all go mad at the same time, and they all come for you at the same time, it can be quite the frightening sight. That many beavers all coming for you. I know I've made that mistake before in the past, um, thinking that just one alpha beaver was coming after me, but all of them were like on the same, on the exact same square, so I couldn't actually see them. Yeah. Wasn't so nice. Oh, come on. We're close now. We're close. What about you, turret? What else can you get? You can still hit them. That's good. Alright. I'll let you go for that one. Where are you going? There you go. Uh, it could have been better. <laughs> we'll get there. Slowly but surely. There we go. Last one. Okay. Done. You can rest now. You can rest easy. And let's go ahead and reconnect that. Turn it off. Okay. We did it. We did it. Okay, so... Oh, this is also for the male gender. So that's good. So that's actually going to help us out. It's going to help us uh, just relax. Uh, we might actually be getting hot in there, surprisingly enough. Oh, and we have some snow coming. Well, at least... Uh, at least they aren't going to... Well, they are outside. So they are going to disintegrate to a degree. Uh, so as long as I maybe come over here and just go corpses and allow animal corpses... We'll be able to get them hauled. So let's just go haul urgently. They'll get under cover, so at least then the elements aren't affecting them. But they will... Well, yeah, as long as they have a roof over their head, they should be fine. They'll be good. Now, Mr. Seabass, how do you feel? He doesn't think he has a uh, an ugly bedroom. But he is in a very ugly environment, unfortunately. So let's just have a look at the beauty around here. So, I mean, it's not that bad in here, right? It's um, a mediocre bedroom at this stage. Could be better. Um, it's mostly the walls that are going to be giving him negatives around here. We can see that those are all negative one. So we will be wanting to uh, swap those out eventually. I think the the rooms themselves will be the first ones that we do that to. But um, as you can see, we are short on bricks right now. We do have some up here, I believe. No, we have none currently. We have one slate block. So we aren't going to be able to do much of that. That's fine. That is okay. Uh, did any of our wood survive? Yes, it did. Okay, that's good. That's good. So Spectra is just going to go and uh, haul all of those either into the freezer or out here once that's full. And that means we'll have a decent amount of uh, food just waiting to be, uh, well, chopped up and made into uh, something tasty. And Mr. Seabass, you have, you've been doing a fantastic job at getting this place built, essentially. So, very, very good job. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to, not furniture plus, more floors. And we're going to put random marble throughout here. Uh, not that we're going to be able to do this yet, but it's just so that it's on the floor. So that once we actually do start making those blocks, we are going to be able to uh, get them there. Okay, let's go ahead and, yeah, we will actually build a copy of that there. But more importantly, I was wanting to just build a copy of the door. And let's see. Uh, it's, we're essentially going to be doing that. Um, I hope that doesn't upset them. I can't remember whether or not it actually does. Yeah, I'm not so sure on that. We'll put a torch in there. And same thing, we'll just give them a little desk. A little desk in the corner. Get a chair. There we go. Lovely. Alright. That's something. Oh, we don't need another dresser. An end table would be nice, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. It's not an absolute must. Okay, so this should be a slightly nicer bedroom. Slightly. Not by much. Um, I think I'm going to extend this dumping stockpile as well. So we're going to extend it even further from what it is. And so we're, we're actually going to have quite the uh, pile of rocks out the front of our place here. I was kind of hoping that was just going to join with that, but it didn't. That's okay. Uh, looks like Mr. Seabass is getting a few of these meals up and running, which is good. You know, as long as we can just get a base amount of them there, I'll be fine. And then I'll let them get back to work. Elliot, you are getting another bed constructed. Nice. Thank you very much. We're going to go ahead and we are going to give this bed to 
either that bedroom or that bedroom would be good for Elliot because this room here, I'll just talk as they're kind of doing the construction. This room here is going to be our prisoner containment room. This back here, we're going to have a, um, a nutrient dispenser. And so we're going to be able to fill the nutrient dispenser from this way. But it's also going to be the, the space where Elliot operates and, uh, well, does nasty things to people. <laughs> yeah. So I think that this might be a good room for Elliot. So we're probably going to give that to him for now. And then finally Spectra will get this room down here for now. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that'll work. Okay, so we know that we need to get that power going a little bit further. And I hope that it will just be able to go through the wall. So if we just extend it down like this, uh, while it's not the prettiest, it works for the time being. Which I know is just like the catchphrase of this entire series um or we could just run down along like that it's going to use more steel though to be able to do that rather than just going like that yeah we'll just do that for the time being there we go mr seabass you were getting some uh getting some meat chopped okay um is it because <clears throat> and it is he actually has no other mining to do right now which is good i mean that's great but i think I think I am going to open up this area to him now to start mining, which I know is a lot of work for him to be doing, but it's going to be a major area for us, um, at least for a good long while. And I probably do need to, hmm, I should have looked to see exactly where I wanted the pillars to be. I believe that was one of them there. Yeah, so we're three from the top there and i'm assuming we probably want one to be there for the time being so i might just need to put another slate pillar in uh not that i think we'll actually be able to put one in then we should be able to do that without it collapsing Ooh, maybe not yeah i'm not 100 percent sure if we can mine all of that out because it's what six squares we can go before there's a, a collapse so i feel like maybe leaving one of these in here will just be good even though it's going to be right in the center um, it will just give them a little bit more safety, which uh, I'm on board with. Spectra, thank you very much for your good work there. Uh, and you know what? We need to expand our cleaning zone again. And we are actually over the episode time at the moment. We will be wrapping up very, very shortly. We're just going to go ahead and chuck that into the cleaning area so that Spectra will be able to do just a little bit of that. Spectra sleeping up there by himself right now. We'll deconstruct that just so that we're not putting anything else into the fire right now because... Uh, yeah, we'll be a little bit maxed out there. Um, item stash opportunity. Okay, so this is another one that's popped up. We've got Zeith, Prime Counselor of the Coalition of Arvine, has sent us a message. They've learned that a collection of valuable items has been left for the taking not far from us. There is a medicine neurotrainer, an artistic neurotrainer, and a social neurotrainer. I'm imagining neurotrainers train your skills. Unfortunately, it won't last for long. Others will take it in 17 days if we don't. Valuables tend to attract danger, so beware. Uh, Zeif says there is an enemy outpost nearby. I wonder how well they're protecting that stuff. Because right now, really, the only person with a weapon is Elliot. So I just don't see that being something that we could do. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. It's going to take a second for the planet to kind of populate. Because uh, I do have a habit of generating the entire planet just because, you know... I like to see the whole planet. So this is it here, and that's us there. So it's a little bit of a hike to get there. Obviously, you can see we're going to be going through mountains pretty much the entire way. So that would take a long time. I think we can actually use this here, which is this fantastic little planner, and we can plan where we want to go. So I think, is it right click and then right click? Okay, so that would take 20 days. Good God. Also, because like it is, it is getting towards winter, but even so, 20 days, that's too it's too long for us to do okay all right let's stop that stop it okay yeah that's uh that's too long for us unfortunately yeah well as you can see we have started to uh started to get this place built it's got a long way to go as you can see it has quite a long way to go but um at least it has been started and as we can see for now the temperatures in here are actually pretty good so we're going to try and keep it that way. We're going to give Spectra a room very, very soon. And then we're going to start shifting everything into this room here. For a while, we're going to be cooking and producing everything in this space. Once we get some more colonists or have a little bit more time, we are going to be expanding further into the mountain, creating these separate rooms, which are going to be used for, well, production and 
cooking and obviously keeping our food frozen. Uh, at the moment, we are going to have the freezer up there. I'm wanting to try and work our way down there. I think that's what we might end up doing. So I'm just going to... I'm going to jump in, just while we're doing a little wrap up here, I'm going to cancel this mining as well. I just want a corridor to be built into our little kitchen area, eventually. But, as you can see, the first thing that they are going to need to work on is this space here. And I've just noticed now that I have a, another part of the area that isn't actually included in it just yet, which is this here. So we'll go ahead and mine that out as well. Because we are going to be walling that all off. Uh, eventually, once we, uh, actually, we need to have another one there as well. Yes, we do. The reason that I've kind of left this uh, spotty at the moment is because we are going to be re replacing that wall with those slate blocks. Uh, but we we have a lot of those to go down. We have to make a whole heap of slate blocks to be able to replace all the walls in here. It's going to be a full-time job for someone. And looking at this quickly before we kind of wrap up, who has the best crafting skill out of us? Spectra. Perfect, because Spectra was the person that I actually wanted to do it. So Spectra is going to be making a hell of a lot of stone blocks for us. Uh, Mr. Seabass is going to be mining, and Elliot is going to be putting those blocks down. That's how it's going to roll for a while at least. We'll see. Winter does seem to be here now. Um, and, uh, well, things are getting cold. Hard snow outside, minus 16. The temperature is dropping. But... For now, we are surviving. Thank you for joining me for another episode. I've been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.